You're not dealing with your feelings. Are you tired of being told you're not dealing with your feelings? If so, keep watching. When people think of healing in our culture, they will usually think of crying openly, talking about your difficulties, and talking about the past. Many women find this approach very helpful and fulfilling. Many men do not. But are men deficient because they're not like most women? Absolutely not. When I first started doing therapy with men fresh out of grad school, it looked like men were deficient. I worked in a clinic with all female therapists except for me and was given most of the male clients since the females didn't want to work with the men. This left me with a huge caseload of men and floundering since what I'd been taught in grad school was not working so well with the men. I needed to find out what helped men and find out quickly. As I struggled with this, I slowly started to realize that there wasn't something wrong with the men. There was something wrong with the therapy. What I'd been taught in grad school had been built to help women, help them talk, help them emote, and help them talk about the past. Worked well with women, but it wasn't so hot in working with men. Therapy basically ignored a man's way. What I eventually found was that men tend to heal through their action and do so through honoring and changing the future. Notice this is markedly different from the standard interaction, open emoting, and talking about the past of traditional therapy. But how did I come to these conclusions? One of the first things that tipped me off that men had a very different way to heal was when I ran into the cross-cultural research on grief. It showed repeatedly that indigenous people tend to give men actions following a loss, but give women a safe place to talk and emote. The picture you see is of the Yorma men of Australia doing the shark dance at a funeral in honor of the deceased. Their actions honor the person who died who is just out of sight. This is just one example among many. The literature showed that men were almost always the ones to do things like dig the grave, care for the body, do the ritual, etc. So I started watching men's actions after a loss or trauma and started seeing things I'd completely missed before. Men use action rather than interaction to tell their story and most people, including the men, simply don't see it. Next, I ran into the research of Shelley Taylor, Ph.D., who studied women and stress. Taylor found that women, when stressed, don't fight or flight. They instead tend and befriend. In other words, women will move towards interaction when stressed, while men move towards action. This confirmed what I'd been seeing clinically. The more I looked, the more I saw that men were indeed dealing with their feelings, but instead of talking and emoting openly, they were taking actions that honored the laws. The men were doing this automatically and without prompting. It seems that it's simply a natural response which I had previously missed. A quick example might be Eric Clapton. Clapton's son died in a tragic accident which left Clapton in what he described as a waking nightmare. How did he respond? He secluded himself and played guitar for long periods. Eventually, three songs came forth, Tears in Heaven, My Father's Eyes, and The Circus Left Town. Each of these songs is about his waking nightmare. Can you see how Clapton's actions of playing the guitar and writing the songs were helping him process his emotions? Did he go into therapy? No. He used his own action to honor his loss and his son, and through those actions he told his story. Not through interaction, but through action and honoring. When asked about how hard it might have been to write the songs, Clapton responded, Playing the guitar was actually the solution. I wrote a book titled Swallowed by a Snake, The Gift of the Masculine Side of Healing that explains this process in more detail. The book is in its second edition since the year 2000. And recently I wrote a very concise ebook that updates the snake book and also offers tips for helping men heal. I also have built a video site that includes a video book of about two hours of video that tell the same story but in video form. If you're interested, Go to the link in the info box, and when you see the form, enter the coupon "Men Are Good" to get half off the admission price. We need to be teaching our boys and our men about their unique paths and start shutting down the people who are shaming men for not dealing with their feelings. It's really time. And don't forget, men are good.